When McCord Field and Fort Lewis came together and became Joint Base Lewis McCord, single airmen got access to the Better Opportunities for Single Service Members or BOSS program. It's been a year since that merge and airmen are rarely using BOSS, so the Air Force held a week-long summit to try and fix the problem. We're trying to figure out how we can better incorporate it to, you know, a joint base thing instead of just an army thing to where, you know, Air Force members feel like it's theirs also, not just an army program that they're sharing with us now that we're a joint base, it's our program. <laughs> the Nelson Rec Center is a fun place for every single soldier and airman, but BOSS isn't just about fun and games, it's also about giving single soldiers and airmen an opportunity for their voices to be heard. I am literally a representative of what they need, but guess what, in order to give you what you need, I need to hear it from you first. We're a system. I need people to stop seeing BOSS as an event. There are big plans for the future. BOSS will try breaking down some barriers with a soldier airman mixer. The Warrior Zone is also set to open later this year. It's a state-of-the-art recreation center that, according to Miranda, is 20 times bigger than BOSS's current home at the Nelson Rec Center. Reporting from Joint Base Lewis-McCord, Washington, I'm Specialist Vanessa Davila.